Hey guys, we're at part two. My death before dishonor, Zippo. Again, don't come in, don't come with fuel in them, but still. And then here's the other one, black ice. That's a beautiful looking little Zippo, man. Gentleman's lighter every day. Uh, so now I just got to get some fuel. I like the graphics on that. And the finish is kind of nice. Can't do any real tricks with it. Um, you know, just the basic stuff. But still, been needing a Zippo. That's got a spring on it, man. Alright, so... That to the side. Now we're gonna go... with a cold steel knife. And I have been waiting forever for this. I want this... I've been wanting this knife forever, man. Okay, here's their pocket clip for the left-hand side. That's going on right away. If I didn't just lose it there. Sorry about the face. <laughs> oh. Man, that feels good. It's a freaking huge knife. I mean, uh, I didn't expect it to be that big, to be completely honest. Wow, guys, just take it out real slow like that. I love that G10, by the way. Love it. This is the Tanto Point. And uh, that's just my preference. Uh, my utility preference. Hair popping sharp. Alright, you can't see that, but I mean, that just took the hair right off my arm. Cold Steel Tanto. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be situating this to left-hand carry right away after this video. That's smooth. I bet I could open it like this. Yeah, without even using the thumb stud, so that's nice. That's a nice plus. Um, I've heard a lot of ragging on that Teflon coating. So, we'll see how that goes but the triad lock I heard is the strongest thing out there so I like that feel in the hand ah the next one it's a spider co knife um if you guys don't know my collection is without spider co's so I got me an endura That also feels very good in the hand. Nice jumping. Now, I'm a huge fan of VG10. So, of course, being a huge fan of VG10, I had to get this blade. Um, and this, I'm still not sure if I'm going to situate to left hand or keep it right hand carry. I'm going to do the uh, zip tie mod. Ah. And, uh... That way, I'll have that wave command. I already got a cut. Not enough to bleed, just enough to take some skin off. Huh. The irony. And finally, yes, finally, a Benchmade. My first Benchmade knife. All right, now I really wanted a knife with the access lock. So I decided to go with their folding dive knife. Why? Highly humid um, area. So I figured that steel would do me good. Um, very blunt tip, but oh well. I like stabbing and that's not good, but you know, 
This will also be situated to left hand carry. That's smooth, man. No complaints there. Good in hand. Um, thumb studs kind of buried a little bit. You gotta dig a little bit, but other than that, good stuff. Checking to see if there's anything else in here. There shouldn't be. That should be it. Blade HQ warranty and such. No, nothing special. All right, that was my unboxing of the Blade HQ stuff. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See ya.